Today I want to go over a few questions that you, my friends, ask me. And they were such a great questions that I thought I do not want to ignore it. And I do want to go over them because most of the women are asking the same questions over and over and making the comments about it. And so the first one was the gap between the rich and poor is so great now that a man will be selling his soul in order to provide for his wife and for his family. My friends, most of the women feel like that in order to help a man, you got to go to work and help him financially to pay bills. And the more you are helping him this way, by going to work, by paying for electricity, gas, mortgage, insurance for the car, the more your man start slowing down in his masculine energy because he is born to provide and to protect. And so this is the worst thing you can do for a man. The best thing a woman can do is start daily, either meditation or either affirmation. And this way she sends him the energy to start making more income in order to provide and in order to protect his family and so don't jump into thinking that if you're gonna go help him financially your family gonna blossom it will not happen because again a man start thinking well my wife can help me financially why do i need to strike to get a bonus why do i need to strike to make more income so you have to take full responsibility staying in your feminine energy and it's very hard to stay in the feminine energy if you're not doing a daily affirmation or a meditation because the world is so material around us which tells us we need to have more material things in order to be happy we need to go to so many vacations to be happy we need to have a gucci bag louis vuitton bag and bigger home and etc and so this way nothing will ever be enough you would want more and more. And when you're feminine, when you relax, at peace and calm, you're sending the message of acceptance to your husband. And then he feels like he can conquer the mountains for you. And so that's why, friends, stop helping your man like he is a woman, like he's a child. He's a man. Men were going to worse for centuries. And he can definitely provide for you. Maybe not right away the way you want to, but he definitely will. The second questions I get a lot is I want to be wealthy and feminine. And yes, I can. 90% of you ladies on my channel are telling me that no, I can be wealthy and I can be feminine. Ladies, this is a biggest lie of equality system, of a radical feminism. No, you can't. And when you're telling me also, you're arguing with me that Oprah is feminine, that Nicole Kidman is feminine. Yes, Nicole Kidman has a second husband now. I don't know how long it will last. And yes, maybe Oprah has a boyfriend now, which we also don't know how long it will last because a woman who is making a career priority makes $1 million or more. She is shifting 100% to masculine energy where her independence, career, and success is more important than relationship, family, and kids. And with this kind of woman, you can choose being wealthy, but if you're wealthy, you're going to attract a feminine, lazy, domesticated man who'll be baking pies and making soups and salads for you. And if you're okay with that, absolutely, that's your choice. That's wonderful. But don't expect that if you're going to be wealthy, you're going to attract a masculine man. Because a masculine man who is a provider, leader, and protector will not be interested to provide for you, to take you and pay for your vacations, to take you to the restaurants and pay for them. Because he'll be thinking how to save money, how to go to the gym, how to look pretty, how to wear bracelets and necklace, and make sure he will be in front of the mirror making his gel on his hair and looking perfect like a woman. Yes, my friends, this is the way feminine and masculine dynamic works. So I want to be clear so you don't have this misconception. Another one of you asked me, well, how to balance ambitiousness and femininity? You cannot balance ambitiousness and femininity. Either you're ambitious to making zillions of dollars or six figures and more, 
And again, go ahead and do that if this is your choice. But don't then expect that you're going to be feminine and will be attracting a masculine provider and protector type of man because they will not be looking at you. Masculine men who are providers, who are protectors, who are ready to conquer the world for you. They're looking for a feminine woman who is gentle, who is loyal, who is kind, who is soft, who is peaceful and calm and not go get her. So please understand this dynamic. Why do some men look at other women and cheat? And in my program, The Key to True Love, and I highly recommend for you to watch that on the YouTube, there's two parts to it. I shared that there's different types of men. And the type of men that a lot of women, most of them women, let's be honest, want to, who's charismatic, good looking, he speaks nice, he's romantic, he'll tell you all of the nice things that you wanna hear because he has agenda to get you really quick in bed. They're the ones who he's quickly attracted to you and quickly got you in bed. He'll do the same thing with other women. Men appreciate women. women. They're hard to get. And some of you told me, well, I slept with my husband on the first date. We're still married for four years. Yeah, maybe you're married and maybe you're still giving him sex and that's why you are together. But is he provider and protector and respects you and will do anything for you? That is the question. And so if you're attracted to this good looking, charismatic, good spoken man, he's interested in himself and not in you. A good man really are not talkative because talk is cheap. They show the action. They pick you up for a date. They pay for your lunch and dinner. They talk about the future. They want to help you to fix your tire. They're willing to do things for you. The action, action speak lower, but then you'll say, well, but he's 15 pounds overweight. He doesn't have a six pack or he has a mustache. I don't like men with mustache or the way he's dressed. I don't really like that style. And so this pickiness, that you're looking for this perfect, charismatic, good-looking guy, yeah, you can attract him, but he will use you, sleep with you, and leave you. And so that's why you have to date long enough for five, six, seven months to understand is he speaks or he actually does the action. And before jumping in bed, with a man, get to know him and get to know a man for a really long time. The sleepiness has to go in the stage of engagement when you have a ring or better already married and i understand for some of you it's old school but that's the way men work and not the way we think because we judge them based on us women but they're different they're not women they're looking for a woman who is hard to get who is feminine who is appreciating him who values him and who is hard to get so that's why, my friends, if you're attracting men who are cheating, you have low self-esteem, you quickly jump with him in bed, and he doesn't value you. So please think about it. I feel like I'm failing as a mom. Ladies, we're feeling, we're failing as a mother when we're making other things a priority. And that's why there's, it's hard to balance. And if a day starts with putting God, Creator, universe, however it makes you feel comfortable, a priority, you start to valuing yourself, you start to appreciate yourself, and then you don't feel like throughout the day you're chasing the day trying to make your kids happy, your husband or your boyfriend happy, your colleagues and boss happy, because if you make a work a priority, you will never feel fulfilled and happy as a mother. You will always feel like you are depleting your children and yourself from giving them love. And so this is number one bigger mistake that you ladies do, making a job priority, because behind it you feel like you gotta help your husband, pay bills and etc. Start slowing down, start working either part-time or make a work a less of a priority. Your family is number one priority in your life. And the second is trying again, please everyone. And it's impossible to make anyone happy and please anyone. You have to take care of yourself. And the best way to feel whole and complete is when you either pray in the morning, do the affirmation or meditation, then you feel this wholeness in your heart. And then you're slowly giving to children, to 
husband keeping it to yourself and not throwing it out there everywhere and running like a crazy mad woman and i used to be one so i can fully relate and so slow down but start a day with meditation or affirmation finish the day acknowledging higher power for everything that we've got 